Breaking news! For far too long have we been terminated by Miameter's inability to create bendable extrusions. For years, we had to come up with solutions which were not very effective. Wanna give your character a nice jacket? Well, too bad! Okay, what about an accessory like, I don't know, an extruded creeper? No, not gonna work. All right, all right, all right. I know what you're saying. We have the model bench. We can finally do this, right? Nope. You've been bamboozled. When does the tyranny end? Well, I say we end it now. What is up, guys? Sharpen here, and as you've seen in the intro, I'm gonna tell my animator who's the boss. You're probably aware that bendable extrusions is a topic which is personally very important to me, okay? And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to do it. I fixed it. I found the solution to bendable extrusions finally being a possibility in my animator. Let me know what you think in the comments before I do anything here, and subscribe for more content on the channel. And with that on the side, let's begin because I'm hyped! Here we are in the model bench and I know I've said that model bench cannot do this but I found a mechanic which possibly can. I saw the creature model from custom creatures tutorial. What the hell? No, we're gonna make a new model here. We're gonna call him dude just because we can. I'm just gonna make a model right here. Dude is gonna get himself a bendable extrusion. First off, I just wanna delete both his arms. Like, you don't need those. Like, so I can see the extrusions better. What I want to do, select the body and click on this add surface. So uh, the surface is now locked on the body. I'm gonna call the surface extrusion. Now, open up the UV panel so I can see see what I'm doing and I want let's say I want this middle row of his body extruded for some reason don't ask me why I just want a good example by the way if you don't know how this works I have a tutorial on the model bench you can click the eye in the corner here to go see it or just go along with the video as I go no biggie I'm just gonna show you how you can do bendable extrusions because all right we have learned before that if you want bending to be functionable the pivot point needs to be in the same place as the body's pivot point so instead of moving this thing, changing its pivot point, we are going to move the pivot offset. So the pivot point is in the center. And if I go under the material and click 3D, this is now three-dimensional. Let's say this is my extrusion. And since the body is a body part which can bend, the extrusion should bend with the body. Now I can find the bend. All right, now if I bend this body, I mean, this is not exactly what I wanted, but it kind of functions to some extent. Nah, it's breaking. What about the, the back? Whoa, 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 what is this? Stop, this should not be happening. You know what I mean? Bendable extruders, I'm telling you. What's more if I do this? Like, this is not how I want <laughs> Go to the extrusion. Let me turn off this grid, grid so I can put it slightly above, so there's a slight air pocket in between, so I can see what's actually going on. When I bend this, the extrusion sort of goes around it. Even if I mess with the bend size, it's not gonna help, even so. Like, doesn't work this way and the bend offset doesn't really matter when it comes to this. This is something wrong with 3D planes in, mo in the model bench. But, fear not, I have found a solution which actually sort of kind of works. Click on the extrusion and under 3D, tick that off. What happens now? This is not three-dimensional, so it's not really an extrusion, but what I found out is that planes are bending alongside the body, even in both directions it works. Might be the solution. But then again, planes are not extruded, so planes are just two-dimensional planes. Let's try adding more of those. Extrusion 2, right, that's fine. And uh, let's rotate the extrusion to 90 degrees side sideways. This is the, the other part of the extrusion. Now what happens when I bend the body? This sort of has the same bend. Let's do this for a second, right? The position uh, is what messes up the pivot point. The pivot point is down here in this little center point. So the position should be always set to zero. So the pivot point is in the same place as the body's pivot point. So the bend starts from the same point. So the bend is accurate. If I mess with the pivot offset though, the body part is deforming by the bend and it's turned sideways. What does that tell me? Well, if I could put Z1, so it's now in the corner, and this extrusion 2 should only have a texture of the side, so let's also change that real quick, so it's only one pixel thick and put it to the side. So now this is the texture of the side of the extrusion, and what happens now? The pivot offset, minus 2.3, just like the previous one, now it's aligned. What happens now when I bend the body? Already? Look at this! It functions! This is the bendable extrusion functioning! Now, I do have to give credit to sounds.zip because he was, I believe, the first person to figure out this mechanic. This guy is what I believe is 
the future of rigging in Minamir. He has it down. He knows what he's doing and he actually showed me this technique to some extent, but of course I have to I had to process his words and I try to simplify it for everyone to understand. This is it, bandable extrusions. It works both ways. Like look at this. Except one axis and it's the Y axis. The Y axis still breaks. So when I bend body Y, as you see what happens here, the body goes inwards and the extrusions here, like this creates some sort of air pocket down here. This does not really function as an extrusion. But if we take a look at this closely, watch my extrusion. The extrusion actually bends pretty nicely, uh, evenly and stuff. But if you take a look at the body, the body has this middle point here, which actually offsets from the extrusion. I would say the extrusion actually bends really nicely. The extrusion turns normally evenly smoothly. The extrusion is how the bend should appear on the body. But the body has this weird middle point which is poking out. Like, look at this. What is this? This this uh, body shape is horrible. The extrusion looks nice. It's the body's fault. The extrusion actually looks very good. Like, look at this. It's smooth and nice, but the body Jesus, man, what are you doing? So we have come to a conclusion that bendable extrusions now do work on two axes and maybe just a little bit on the third axis, like if you bend it like uh, seven degrees or 10 degrees maybe, you can bend it in two directions as well as sideways. Bendable extrusions have been fixed. Now, I do have some great news for you because this will not always be the case. I've talked to Nimi because we are, we are pals and Nimi said he's going to fix the bending with the new model bench update. So basically, Basically, when Modelbench gets an update, the bending is going to be fixed. Till then, you can take this video as a temporary solution. It's going to get fixed, and once it does, this will no longer work. But that's not a problem, because bending will be fixed then, and you can have bendable extrusions normally. Till then, this video can be your savior, but once Modelbench gets an update, bending is finally really going to be fixed. Now that I've explained how this works, let's try to do something more complex. Let us come back to Sir Marcus Notch from the first video of bendable extrusions I made. You guys won't believe how hard it is to actually find Notch's skin. I actually had to make this myself, plus add this failed Mojang thing in his back. What I'm actually gonna do is add the texture of his extrusion on the back. This is what I wanna extrude now, and let's see if we can get it fixed. Okay, now, sorry Notch, no offense. I'm gonna remove your arms so I can see better. Maybe I'm gonna remove the head as well. No offense, it's nothing personal. I just wanna see this better. Click on the body, add surface. Texture is going to be the Notch thing. I actually, where is it? Pivot offset. Oh. I only used the pivot offset, not the position. So the pivot offset is on the same place as the body. So the extrude bending is gonna be nicely made. Wait, go to the body and bend it. Wait a minute, this is not supposed to happen. What? Three-dimensional. Wait, oh, that's not right. Uh, 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 uh. I am shocked. I am seriously shook. What's going on here? Why does it jump back down and why is it all weird and funny? Mimi? Mimi, help! All right, I am confusion. What the hell is going on? Pivot offset is in the same place. Is the bending size the problem? Like, all right, let's go for a bending size of six, I guess. Because this happens to cause no issues. Like, what was that? Okay, <laughs> so this part, this part should function now. What the hell was that? Now I got a new surface, which is gonna be side one. Let the games begin, I guess. Notch thing. Right, this is gonna be the side extrusion here, so I'm gonna select those pixels, and now it's gonna be rotated 90 degrees, and now I have to position it using the pivot offset. And this is now one of the extrusions. Now, wish me luck, as I have to manually add all of them. All of them! Before you say anything, just take a look at the amount of items. The amount of items is absolutely Insane! I believe it looks three-dimensional from all parts. All of them are, as you see, just small squares duplicated over and over. I didn't even bother renaming them, this just this is all it. I've only changed the pivot point, so the pivot offset is in the center for all of them, in the center of the body. Man, this is a lot of items. Right, are we ready to test this out? If it works. Because if this works. Shoot! All this work for nothing. Ah, <gasps> uh, wait, they don't even turn. What are you? This is a bunch of, oh, 
What have I done? What have I done? I've committed a horrible, horrible crime. Top. They're the top ones. Wait, top this thing. Why does it not bend three-dimensional? I don't even know what are you. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Why don't you bend with the body? Maybe if I increase the bend size? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, crash. That's what I get for trying to play God. Ignore. Abort. 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 Safe changes. No, I don't want to see this thing ever again. Get away from this. Anyway, uh, it seems to be working with more simple extrusions. So, um, Mimi, I'm waiting for you to fix this. <laughs> All right, I showed you a way which fixes simple extrusions. You won't believe how much time this took me right now. We are almost there, fellas. Yeah, I hope you found this video useful because if you have a basic extrusion, feel free to use this technique. Jackets and sweaters, those would work because they're just vertical lines like I showed you at the beginning of the video. That worked fine. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from the video. I hope you'll find use instead of crashes. But yeah, again, credits for sounds.zip for figuring this out and credits for myself for making the video? I don't know. Stay sharp.